Welcome back. Well, May is National Foster Care Month. And we have recruitment and licensing specialists from PathND, Carissa Cox and Jen Helm with us today to talk a little bit about what this uh, Awareness Month means to their organization. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having us. A great time to start this conversation. How important is this month to you guys? Um, National Foster Care Month is really um, important for us. Um, we it's kind of twofold. We like to celebrate our foster parents because without foster parents, PATH wouldn't be here. They're kind of the bread and butter that um, makes PATH run. Um, they're the ones that do the majority of the work with our kids in our foster homes. And so we're just really thankful for having foster parents. And along with that, May um, is a good opportunity for us to really spread awareness about the need. Um, in the state of North Dakota, there is over 1,500 kids in foster care or other out-of-home placements. Um, PATH serves about uh, 240 of those kids, but the number that really stands out is there's about 86 kids currently waiting for a treatment foster home. So um, really, um, it's important to spread um, awareness about that need for more foster parents. So what can people in our community and state be doing to help out? You know, there's there's a lot that they can do. Obviously, that greatest need is to become a foster parent, um, but that's a, a huge commitment, and we know um, not everybody is um, in a place to be able to do that. So there's lots of other ways they can help kids in foster care. Um, they can go on Facebook and like some of our events. Um, another thing that we would really like to do is get out into some businesses and organizations in the community and just kind of talk about what PATH does, um, what foster care is, and kind of spread awareness um, for kids in foster care. And sometimes it's just starting the process by asking questions of people at home or thinking, well, I've always kind of been interested, not sure if I'm ready, because that's fair to say you're not ready, but you can't start or know if you're ready until you to reach out and ask some questions. Absolutely, yeah. and we always say just give us a call if the thought has just crossed your mind. Um, it doesn't hurt to call and just get some of those initial questions answered. Um, we'd be more than happy to sit down and meet with folks to do so. And we have an informational meeting coming up actually this Thursday. Um, Silver Line Custom Homes, we're partnering with them and they're providing the space for us and some refreshments. Um, so it's this Thursday at 6 p.m. over in Moorhead. There's information on our Facebook page um, about the details of that. It's great. And I was going to say that we have not only talked to foster former foster kids, we've talked to foster parents, and the foster parents, sometimes they feel like they are getting just as much as the kids. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit as to what you hear from foster parents once they say, yes, I'm going to do this? Um, a lot of foster parents just talk about how rewarding of an experience it is. Um, there's a lot of trying and hard times, too. Um, but they really, the things that stick out to them are the things that they've done with kids, the difference that they've made, the progress that they've seen kids made. Um, and then when kids get to go home to their parents and they see that family come back together again, um, it's just a really great experience for them. And our foster parents, those are the people on the front line doing that very therapeutic work with the kids. And they often um, don't get recognized like they should. So that's really what we like to do in May is emphasize um, how great they are. Good for them. Yeah, and I was going to say, when we've talked to parents, what you got, you're saying, thank them, but they thank all of the services that they have supporting them as well, because that's in place, right? They're mm -hmm. not alone. Absolutely. At PATH, we take a lot of pride in the support that we can offer our foster parents. Um, they're definitely not alone. Um, so um, just lots of supports that help them get through the day-to-day -day challenges that they may encounter. Remind me quickly what's happening Thursday night, where, when? Um, informational meeting, no obligation if you come or attend. Um, it's at 6 p.m. Um, in Moorhead. I don't have the exact address, but it's on our website. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much for thank what you, you guys do. Stay with us. Coming up next, spa services that mom will love.